Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at a new ECMAScript 6 methods which is copy within and fill method. So, we will first understand what is the use of copy within method. If I just wanted to explain the use of this method, then I can just say copy within method copy part of an array to another location in the same array and return it. It means copy within method used to copy an array and overwrite whatever element are there. Using example, you will completely understand what is the basic use of this method. But first, let's understand what is the syntax of copy within method. The syntax of copy within method is array dot here I will just call the copy within method and in the parenthesis, the copy within method takes three parameter target start and end the first parameter target is required parameter the use of this parameter is at which to copy the sequence to the negative value counted from the end the second and the third parameter are optional the second parameter used to specify at which to start copying element from if this parameter has omitted, then the default value will be assumed as 0. The end parameter used to specify at which to end copy an element from. If this parameter is omitted, then the default value assumed to array.length. So when copy within method copy an array, then the size of the array remains same. This method would not change the size of array. For example, so I will just declare a numerical array here. So I will say constant ARR is equal to and I will just specify a few elements. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right? And I will just call the copy within method. So I will say ARR dot and I will just call this copy within method here. So I will just say copy within and in the parenthesis I will first specify the first parameter and then specify the second parameter 2 and just say console.log and print the array on the console. Now here the first index refers to the index number where we wanted to start copying the array and the second argument specify where we wanted to copy element from. The second index it means from the third element. So this will print 1, 3, 4, 5 and to complete the size of the array this will print 5 again. Let's take another example. So I'll just get rid of this parameter and here I will just say 1, 2 and 3. So in this statement I will just start from the first index and copy elements from the second index. Now here we had specified third parameter also. Third parameter used to specify where we wanted to end the copy from. So it refers to the fourth element in the array. So this will just copy the third element two times and print the remaining array. Right? Let's take another example. So I will just get rid of these parameters and say 2 comma 0 so we will just start this array from the second index and copy this array from the zero index so when you execute this you will get 1 2 1 2 and 3 on the console right and if i just specify 1 comma minus 1 we wanted to start this array from the first index it means from the second element and copy all the array element from the end right so the minus one refers to the end of the array so the output of this statement is one five three four five right don't just watch these tutorials keep practicing after you practice on these methods you will understand what's going on and which thing is used where let's move on to the next method fill in ECMAScript 6, a new method introduced which is fill, which allows you to get any number of element with a fixed value. 
In other words, fill method fill all the elements of the array from the start index to the end index with static values. The syntax of this method is following. So we'll just say array dot then here we will call the fill method and this method has three parameters value start and end the first value parameter fill array with static values the second and the third parameter are optional the second parameter specify where to start from and the third parameter specify where to end up For example, so I will just declare an array here. So I will say constant arr1 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? And just after that, I will just call my fill method. So I will say arr1, I will just call my array dot fill method. And now in the parenthesis, I will just specify value. So if I just specify a static D here, and just print this array on the console and just say console.log and say and just print this array then the output would be this so you will get five element with the static d values right and if you just edit this parameter and specify second argument also so if you just say comma here and specify one then these static values start from the first index because we specified one on the second argument so these static values start from the first index so the output would be this right and if we just specify the third argument also and if we just say three here then the output would be different so the third parameter used to specify end of the static values means the first argument start from the first index and end on the third index so when you execute this you will get 1 d d for 5 on the console right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial